Hey YouTube, a little update date on uh, what's been going on. Uh, I've been being a trim carpenter and putting in mini blinds and uh, all the stuff to get uh, the sun to keep from blowing through because it's so stinking hot outside. And I've been needing to do this for a long time, but you can see there that I did a pretty good job for a for a, nobody that, somebody that's never done it. Uh, I've got these pieces here. I need to get a, a piece that's long enough. I think I'm gonna slide it right up underneath there. It looks like it fits good, but it's just a little short. And so I'll just give me another piece of that to where it fits in there like that, and that'll finish that window out. And anyway, that's all. That's the last piece I had. So it's just like just a little short. Um, and then the door finished it out, and then. We talked about doing some, what do they call it? I, I was calling it patina because I was just trying to be funny. You know, that's what they do, the cars and everything. But this is trying to make the door look a little bit rustic, which um, I don't know that I didn't like it cleaner better. But at least now, you know, being that I'm going to be dirty in here all the time, when I go to close the door, the dirt won't show up because there's already dirt all over it. It looks like dirt anyway. What that is is... It's all stain, and then I've got a satin finish over the stain. So, it uh, it looks all right, you know, I mean. So, my first attempt at uh, Fatina, so. And so, what else, what else, what else? So, I'm kind of caught in a, a deal. I've ch You can see I got my car back where it's supposed to be and table cleaned off and all that. Well, now I've got two welders and they're taking up a lot of space. Well, that one's not really, but this new one is a hoss. And so I need a welding cart to hold both of them. Either that or I need to buy a welding cart for that. And I don't necessarily want two welding carts. So I've got a bunch of scrap steel over there that I could probably build a double welding cart, get both my bottles and do all that but that takes away from, you know, the Camaro and, and spending time on it. So I thought about buying one. So I looked at Harbor Freight and Harbor Freight's got one called the Vulcan. Well, I was looking at the reviews on that. It seems to be a pretty good cart. And you know, the guy was saying, yeah, I paid 300 bucks for it. And I'm like, okay, well, 300 bucks, that's, that sounds fair. You know, that's say 300 bucks for my time, you know, sitting and making one. and. Even then, it's not going to have drawers like this Vulcan thing has and all that kind of stuff. So, I looked it up on Harbor Freight. It's like $459 now. I mean, it's going to be $500 bucks with tax. I'm like, damn, do I want to pay $500 bucks for a, a, a welding cart? I mean, it's nice. I've seen a lot of guys taking toolboxes. That one's too shallow. These are 21 inches long, so those are only 18 inches deep, basically. And they're building their own with the drawers, and that's pretty cool. So you won't have as much fabrication to do that, but I would have to go buy another toolbox, which the toolboxes are 300 and some odd dollars. For a toolbox, it's deep enough and wide enough to carry that and that both. And then I thought, well, if I buy a plasma cutter, I might be thinking into the future and have to have a little bit more space for that. So I might want to buy a bigger one. So I'm kind of in a, I don't know, just trying to decide, do I want to build something or do I just want to go ahead and buy something and be done with it? But uh, yeah, this is pretty well ready. I've got all the holes punched in it. Um, same with this course staggered them and all the way across so it's ready you need to spread a little well through primer um, <clears throat> I'm sure there's something I'm missing I talked about thought thought about taking these off because I know that in between everything that's been pinched on here they probably it probably did not get this EDP up inside there so it's probably bare metal because that's what I found on every single other panel so it's like, all right, do I take out these 20 spot wells, you know, sand it, prime it, you know, do all that, or because it's inside the car, is it gonna really matter? 
Um, I don't know. I don't. I don't expect people are going to be getting in and out of this car with wet boots on from snow or water or whatever. But I mean, if you're going to do it absolutely to perfection, probably best to take these off and go ahead and clean underneath them and do all that. But again. How many years am I going to spend on this car? 10, 15? I mean, I'm 55 years old. So do I get to drive it when I'm 65 or do I have my son drive me around in it because I'm too damn old to drive? <clears throat> so got these sitting here. I'm going to go ahead and these little braces go underneath your quarter panels. So they've got a couple of welds in here. I'm going to take these off. I've got some sound, uh, I forgot what that stuff's called. I've got some of it, but basically it's a, sound deadener foam yeah that you know the thing um and so yeah that's what i'm doing so i'll probably do that mess with that a little bit um another thing is is i gotta blast that and the weather is really hot but in the mornings uh, if i would go ahead and build a cart for that to roll it out so i could roll it out back and there's a tree i could just put like a big giant tarp down underneath it and just blast that whole inner frames and, and then bring it in here and clean it up and epoxy it and get it ready for this to go back into it for a final you know the final deal um and I guess I'll wait until I, you know, I want to epoxy a lot of this now, but I guess I'll wait until I get all the car together and welded together and then epoxy everything. Because I thought, you know, I can get the stuff so much easier when it's like this. Like when I had that flipped over on the table, man, I could get into every nook and cranny with a, with a gun. And now I've got a little, uh, oh, what do they call it? It's a mini gun. It's it's an Iwata, an S Iwata minigun. It's pretty cool. I can't wait to use it. So I thought that'd be cool to use on that. But um, so yeah, all this stuff's good, worked out good. I've got everything lined up. You've seen that. It's been a, a bit ago. But uh, yeah, I took a break so I could get keep the sun from coming in and uh, maybe make it cooler in here, which right now it's probably about 70, right at 70 degrees, which is good at, at noon. Uh, so, and then of course I took the time to go ahead and do my, my doors, uh, both ends to, to cut down on the heat as well. So pretty much done with that, ready to get back on the car. And now just thinking, okay, where, where to go from here. And I need to get, I'd like to have as much room as I can to move all this stuff around. I could pull this out, it's no big deal. That's just, I just haven't been pulling it out. Um, but it's running and driving, I can pull, I can pull it out. So I'll have all this space if I need it. But again, I need to do something with this welder. And I don't wanna just set it on the floor somewhere. I'd like to have a place for it. And the thing about these carts is you can see here, I'm real bad about just throwing stuff. And, and so if I'm needing to find something like, you know, something like this, and it's buried under stuff, it's just so hard to find that. So if I had something like a toolbox type deal where I could put all that stuff in little compartments and get it organized, that would be fantastic. Um, because that's one issue I struggle with is organization, as you can see. Uh, I just need to, I get to working and stuff goes to flying and that's what happens. And then I just have to stop and clean everything up. Uh, it was way worse in here. I've cleaned it up quite a bit. But uh, anyway, that's gonna be it for now. I'm gonna go ahead and get these little panels taken off here. I'll try to decide whether I wanna spend $500 on this. Maybe you guys can help me decide that. What do you think? You like to see a uh, uh, a build, me build a, I thought about using the TIG and building a TIG cart, and a TIG and MIG cart, and I would have to get practice with that, but, man, it's going to take, I mean, it would probably take me a week. I'm not sure I've got enough of the right, I've got a lot of steel over here, a lot of one-inch steel, stuff.
stuff like this. And that would probably be fine. I've got lots of uh, plate. I've got plate, uh, I've got 18 gauge, 16 gauge steel, like a whole sheet of it back there. Uh, I've got this thicker stuff here, got lots of that. So I could actually probably make one out of scrap. But again, we're talking about a lot of thought, days, time, you know, I don't do anything fast as you guys are aware, so. Um, <laughs> not at all fast. Um, anyway, so, yeah, tell me what you think about that. And, um, man, I might be better off just to spend, just to bite the bullet, spend the money. Uh, I think you got to throw the wheels on it and the handle on it, and then you just stack, stack your welders on it and push it to the corner, and you're good to go. And then I can get back on the Camaro and live happily ever after, because that's what we want. Look at that beautiful door. Isn't that beautiful? See you guys.